ready? Today's episode is about Spotify Wrap 2022. 2022. Welcome back, lovelies. My name is Brittany, and you've reached my channel, Brittany with Love, where we talk all things music. So I'm going to watch it now, and we're going to talk about it real quick. Welcome to your rap, Brittany. So I explored 150 different genres. So my first one's pop, rap, rock, dance pop, and then alternative R&B. Does that surprise you? It doesn't surprise me. Actually, I'm surprised that rock is so high up there. I would think dance pop would be my number two. Rock would be my fifth, and then alternative R&B would be my third. So everything I think looks correct except for my number one. All right, from sunrise to sunset, you kept it interesting. Your morning started with confident energy empowering. You seized the day with creative poetic melancholy. You embraced the night with hopeless romantic bittersweet mellow. All that listening added up. Total play time was 94,186 minutes. That's more than 98% of other listeners in the United States. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this already. People ask me why I only talk about music on my channel, and it's honestly because it's literally the only thing I like to do, finding new music to listen to, whether it be all the way back from the 60s, or it's music from other countries, or it's music from different genres. I like to listen to everything and see what's out there. I wanna know anybody out there listened more minutes than I have. If you have, leave a comment telling me how many you had. With one song, it was Love at First Listen. Your top song was Motivation by Normani. I need to talk about this real quick. So anyone else who's like an avid Spotify listener, maybe you've encountered the playlist called My Daily Drive. I listen to that playlist almost every day. For some reason, they always put this song on that playlist. Most of the time, I wasn't skipping it, and that's the only reason why it, I played it 76 times. Do I think it was my favorite song of the year? No. Was it in my top 20? Probably not. It was probably more in like my top 100, if I'm being completely honest. I really enjoyed this song, but it, I don't think it was my number one like favorite song. It just happened to play a lot because it was on my playlist almost every day. But is it a good song? Of course. You played 7,731 songs but these played again and again. All right, my top songs. Definitely agree with New Shapes. I definitely played that a lot and FU Anthem. Just so you guys know, I did not know that the internet hated Leah Kate when I fell in love with this song. I didn't even know it was a TikTok song when I first listened to it. I found it on my like Discover Weekly or something. Honestly, that I think that song should have been my number one listen to song because I listened to that over and over again. I was like, this song is super catchy. So any one of you people out there who hate on this song, F you too. Okay, <laughs> this song's like really really good and I really like the lyrics and I like the pacing of it Next song was Sweet Talker by Years and Years featuring Galantis I really adore that song and then Come On by Kyle If you don't know the song Come On by Kyle That is the most catchy song of the year in my opinion I play that song over and over again Honestly, that song Come On and F You Anthem That should have been like number one and two I was listening to those songs a lot They would come on and I'd be like Oh, I need to listen to that and I would put it on repeat sometimes you listened to 3,846 artists this year. Your top artist this year was Beyonce. You spent 2,221 minutes together. You were in the top 0.5% and you couldn't stop listening to Cuff It. I'm still listening to it. Like it, it's brand new, like I'm still jamming out to it. You like these artists so much, we put them on the cover of a magazine, kind of. Your top artist? If you, again, if you followed me on Instagram, you would have seen this picture already. My top artists were Beyonce, Rosalia, Tovlo, Drake, and Demi Lovato. I had mentioned on Instagram that I don't know why Drake's up here. If I could have switched him out with somebody else, it would probably be Lizzo. I feel like I listened to her a lot this year. But besides that, I think the order of my top artists is very accurate. I definitely listened to them that much. They were really, really, really good. This year you had layers like an onion, but you listened to music. Time to meet your listening personality. The early adopter. You've got your finger on the pulse of new music, always seeking the next hot thing. If a song is trending, you're on it. I would honestly like to think that I am on the pulse of music. I don't actually know if I am. There's a lot of artists out there that I'm still like discovering that I've never heard of. If I do find a song that I really, really like, I try really hard to listen to that whole album or listen to other songs by the same artist and try to see if there's someone I should, you know, pay attention to in the future. Let me know, you guys, if you're interested in me making shorts where I tell you the newest song that I found my newest little discovery if you're interested in that would you only be interested in the newest song or like it's an old song but it's new to me kind of thing I don't know Just let me know in the comments what you guys think the 
another thing they did was make a playlist of your top 100 songs. So let's look at that real quick. Ones that stand out that I definitely was listening to a lot. Pienso en tu media by Rosalia. Oh my gosh, you guys. When I first heard that song, when after I made my first Rosalia video, I was getting comments to listen to her first album, which I definitely did. And it was on repeat for like three months straight. At some point, I'm going to record a video of me watching her music videos for this first album. This album was really, really good, especially this song specifically was my favorite. I put it on repeat like for like hours sometimes. What else is on here? Meet Me At Our Spot, super catchy song, was singing it all the time. Be My Friend by Yola, her album Stand For Myself. That is a very good album. If you haven't heard it yet, I would definitely check that out. Be My Friend is one of my favorite songs on off of that album. I got a throwback on here, Us Against the World by Play. For those, you know, Radio Disney fans from back in the day, this song was on a lot. It's an oldie but a goodie and I still listen to it. Psycho Freak is a really good song if you guys haven't heard it yet uh, by Camila Cabello featuring Willow. I see a lot of uh, Motomami songs on here, of course. I listen to that album over and over again. Another oldie but goodie from Radio Disney Days, uh, The Tide is High by Atomic Kitten. You might not remember that song title, but if you play it, you'll remember, oh shoot, this is, you know, giving me Lizzie McGuire. So I still listen to that song a lot too. Oh, there's some songs on here from Tovlo's new album that were super good and I listened to over and over again. So that was my Spotify wrap 2022. 2022. I don't remember them doing them doing this last year where they told you your personal personality type depending on what kind of music you're listening to. I like that they added it in this year because I became really into the MTI uh, personality test this year. I like how they took kind of that model and used music in the creation of new personality types. So I thought that was fun. Let me know in the comments what your personality type was for Spotify Rap 2022. Let me know your top five most listened to artists. Let me know what were your top five songs. And as always, you can leave me recommendations for our music artists, a song, an album, music videos, anything. And as always, subscribe if you're not already and like this video if you enjoyed it. Until next time, peace out lovelies.